Welcome to the Spectrum of Health podcast. My name's Jav. And today, guys, we've got a very, very special episode. I'm going to quickly touch on how to use competitions to get in amazing shape. Now, what do I mean by this? Hmm. Before I even get into all of that, I need you to like, share, subscribe. And if you can, donate a coffee, man. Let me just buy me a coffee. Let me have a quick drink so I can get my energy up. Yeah, if you want to do that description, hit the link. So competitions, how can we use competitions to get in amazing shape? If you have been an athlete, you will know that there is no higher motivation needed to hit the gym and crank out a workout than a competition. If you played basketball, football, American football, rugby, cricket, you know you're competing every four or five days. So when you're in the gym, you know those workouts, you need to make them count. So now that you're retired, what can you do to keep yourself motivated to work out? Enter competitions, man, honestly enter competitions. I found that to be something that's kept me going since I've stopped playing football. It's just having something to get uh, get my teeth into, you know? If you love competition and you're just a competitive person, that's probably what made you become a great athlete. And for me, playing sports in two different countries opened my eyes a lot because when I moved to the States, they play so many different sports over there versus in England, you specialize very early. That's probably why Americans aren't as good as the Europeans at football, but they're better than us at almost every other sport. So uh, there's a reason for that. How can you use competitions to make you more motivated? Well, obviously the fact that you've got a competition coming up is what's gonna motivate you, right? But what kind of things should you actually be going for? And that's really what I'm gonna be talking about in this episode. I'm gonna talk about some of the simple competitions you can get into, and then more complex things that you may wanna think about as you progress your training over time, because it does help and it does make a big difference. So the first thing to think about here is if you do feel lost with your training, entering a competition is probably the best thing you can do. So this is if you feel lost. If you are just going through the motions, you just go into the gym just to do it, your body's not looking any different, you're not seeing any progress with your training, your nutrition is all over the place, you're eating fast food and drinking all the time. If you feel lost, that's when you need to actually make some action and take some action and do something decisive. If you do not feel lost, but you're just not seeing any difference in your training, then again, a competition could just kind of make you step it up a notch and bring your training to the next level. So you need to assess how you're feeling. You need to assess where you're at when it comes to your training at the moment, because if your training isn't where it needs to be, it's probably because you don't have that real drive and that motivating factor to get you there. So these are some of the best competitions that I think are worth trying to get your feet wet. The first one is doing a 5K run. 5K race competition, you know, those are the most basic, simple things you probably can crank out of 5k in 25 30 minutes some of you guys may be a bit longer some of you guys may be quicker i know me i'm a slow coach so 25 minutes is my my limit <laughs> signing up to a 5k race is probably one of the best things you can do it's easy to get motivated for it it's only 5k it's not going to kill you it's competitive enough where you know you don't want to be lost but it's not like you're going to it's going to take over your life again if you want to step it up a notch a 10k a bit longer not as much fun but still achievable you know that when you have that kind of race coming up you can do a 5k running plan you can do a 10k running plan you can even hire a coach like depending on how far you want to take it you can even hire a coach just so you can smash out that race and i'm telling you your times will get quicker the more you do something like that and your body fat will definitely drop you know you'll get fitter the more you do something like that so let's take it even further a marathon half marathon or a marathon now we're taking it even further a lot more running this is definitely going to require a lot more training time however if you've been an athlete and you're just looking to get that fire in your stomach and get back into training this is something that i wouldn't just do off the couch but if you've done a 5k done a 10k and you want to build up then marathon or a half marathon is the next best thing to do now the next one a bit tougher but an iron man if you need any more motivation man you don't want to be struggling and being unprepared for an iron man i think an iron man is really really a test of mental strength rather than physical Obviously, physically, it's very demanding, but it's because of that. That is what actually tests your mental strength. I actually trained an individual for an Ironman for the first time. I've never done any of that kind of training before, but I did a lot of research to find out what's the best methods and how to do it. And I put a perfect plan together and we actually shaved 15 minutes off his goal time. So all I can say is if you want to get in optimal shape, I wouldn't even say that Ironman is something that gets you in optimal shape because it's so demanding. The amount of hours you're going to put into training could be a little bit off-putting for people. However, the point I'm trying to make here, it's going to motivate you to hit the gym. It's going to motivate 
motivate you to pound the pavement and get your runs in. And it's going to help you keep your body fat low. It's going to help you stay in amazing shape. I've got a couple more for you. And one of them is fighting. If you guys know me, you guys know that's my next sport right there. Now, fighting is broad. So let's break it down. We've got boxing. Everybody's done a bit of boxing. If you ain't done a bit of boxing, I don't know where you've been sleeping, but you need to go try some boxing. You will never lack motivation to box because depending on how far you want to go and how much fun you want to have with it, you may start doing some sparring. If you've never been punched in the face, there's nothing more humbling than that, right? You will never want to skip a workout again. You will never ditch the gym if you haven't had that experience because <laughs> you don't want to ever let anyone dominate you again boxing is an amazing one kickboxing again an extension of what i just said with boxing muay thai now obviously that's what i really really enjoy i actually went to thailand uh, two months ago now probably the best two weeks of my life i wish i stayed for longer and the reason i really loved muay thai is because obviously it's a national sport that's so entrenched in the culture they live the life of it and it's just so enjoyable i couldn't really imagine doing anything else when i was out there it was just so i had so much fun it was just it was crazy so Muay Thai is, is one of them Jiu Jitsu getting really popular in the UK it's obviously big in Brazil it's big in the US and MMA so fighting it's one of the things that you can easily get yourself motivated for you can easily find that drive to hit the gym three or four times a week to get yourself in shape for if you don't know where to start you could do like white collar boxing and things like that where you know you're fighting other amateurs and, and other people that you know they just do it as a hobby just like you I would say fighting is one of those things that you know you should definitely look into if you need to find some other way to get yourself in shape lastly cycling i work with about three cyclers right now they do these long races and long runs i don't know how they do it i actually just do their strength inside of the program but cycling is a great way to just keep your legs nice and powerful keep your body fat nice and low because you usually do such long 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 distances you can have probably afford to eat a few more calories as well so that helps those are the things that i'll be considering when it comes to competition but you need a purpose in order to do all the work that you want to do. So when someone says they're not motivated, I don't believe that because you don't need to be motivated to get in shape. I'm never motivated. Do you think that I want to get up at 5 a.m. and go to the gym like every day? No human being actually wants to do that. It's uncomfortable, it's not fun. I want to sleep, I want to be lazy. You don't need motivation. You need discipline. Motivation is unreliable. It comes and goes. Imagine trying to use those unreliable systems to get reliable results. It doesn't make sense. So while you're telling yourself you're not motivated, the truth is you haven't found a real purpose to go to the gym. For some people, it's their health. They've got issues with their lungs. They've got issues with blood pressure. They've got issues with maybe diabetes. It might be their health as to why they want to start losing weight. But for people who've competed and they've played sports at a high level, maybe it's just you don't have that drive anymore because there's nothing to compete for. So it's just you versus you, which should be the biggest battle. But the thing is, when there's nothing to actually, you know, get your hands into, you are just training for health versus training for competition. And training for competition brings your training up by another 10, 15%, you know? So using competitions to get in shape it's like a mind hack and that's what I would recommend for anybody and for those of you that don't know I have set a goal for myself and I'm putting it out there in the public because I think it's important for me it's accountability but by the end of 2023 I want to have at least one Muay Thai fight and with that being said that is all the motivation I need to improve my training get myself ready for something like that and actually learn the skills I don't feel like obviously I'm a long way off where I need to be I'm using the same methodology so I wouldn't be preaching it to you if I wasn't doing it now go and find a sport that you like or that you ain't done before and go enter a competition and then hit the gym so you can work hard for the competition. And I guarantee you will get back in athletic shape. All right, guys, that's it for today's podcast. If you guys need help losing belly fat, building muscle, hit the link in the description. I've got a three-part video fat loss training course. It's absolutely free. You get gym training, you get a training on nutrition and you get training on mindset. All you need to do, hit the link, put in your email. I'll send you the sign up form and it's absolutely free. And before I let you guys go, please, like, share, subscribe. I know I sound like a broken record, but you don't understand. Even one little like, one tiny little like does a big thing for this podcast. So I want to thank you for jumping on and having a listen to this podcast. Recently, I've seen the numbers have been going up, so I'm so happy. I do it for myself, but I expand it to everybody else. So I appreciate anybody who listens to even two minutes of this podcast because you don't have to. It's just me in my little office with a microphone. So I appreciate it. Apart from that, if you need help with your nutrition, your fitness, hit the links in my bio and, and get an amazing shape and you know all that good stuff. The Spectrum of Health podcast. It's Jav. I'm out. Peace.